Hi, welcome to our check-in. My name is Kelsey. I'm a children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. This week for our check-in, we're going to be focusing on art and how you can gather materials or media from nature to create your art and also inspiration from nature or the garden. First, I made some natural paint brushes. I used sticks, nice sturdy sticks, and then I found materials that are fluffy or bristly that would be nice for applying paint. And then I glued them and wrapped them to the stick so that they were extra sturdy. And I can use these brushes to block in large areas of color on my painting or collage or whatever I'm making. And also I can use them to add texture. I am making a collage today, so I can use some materials that I found in the garden and on my walk today. And I can use glue to attach them to my collage. I can also rip or cut them up depending on what it is that I'm trying to make. Right now I'm working on an underwater scene, so maybe I could use one of these leaves to be a fish, or maybe the fin of a fish. You can do whatever you can imagine. So right now I'm gonna add some glue, and then I'm gonna add some of these really cool flower petals from our osmanthus tree that fell on the ground to look like the ocean floor or sand. I can also use some found materials as stamps, like this flower. So I can make a flower print or a stamp by just dipping in paint. then stamping on my collage or my art. Just like that. Maybe this could be some seaweed. So here's how my nature collage turned out. I'm so proud of it. I hope you guys will get outside and create some collages or sculptures or self-portraits with things that you find in nature. Also, don't forget about nature paintbrushes. Another really fun way to make art in nature. I hope you guys get inspired and come up with some creative techniques of your own. Tune in to Storytime with Miss Tarnicia on Friday morning. She'll be reading a story called Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds.